Just an excellent afternoon weather-wise. Fans continuing to stream in here. Strike three called on the lower outside quarter. Ryland Heider has his first strikeout of his college career. Russell going the opposite way. Starting in and right field was Matteo Zeppieri over his head all the way to the fence. Here comes Max Hartman to score. And the hot hitting continues for Kyle Russell. His fifth hit in his last 11 at-bats, RBI number seven on the year. Haggart with the 20 hits, three of them home runs. One of them was on Friday night against UCLA, just an absolute blast. And here he crushes one to right field. Kaysen Taggart, a home run here in the first. And Washington State takes a 3-0 lead on his fourth home run of the year. He's now driven in 20 as he jumps on Brady Little in Seattle U early in the Cougs. A couple doubles and a homer have a 3-0 lead here in the home first. Cook seeing how he fares the second time through the order. Ground ball at second. This might get him out of the third. Park to Russell on to first. Taylor made 4-6-3 double play. And the Cougars erase the couple singles. They go to the bottom half of the third inning. It's 3-0 Washington State. Good three frames for Ryland Hyder. Would have thought he'd be getting the pitch call out of his pitch comp. Dots up the outside half to Matteo Zeppieri and Liam Miller winning that left-on-left -left battle in the top of the fifth. First pitch swinging for Russell into the right center field gap. It's outpacing the right fielder Zeppieri off his glove, racing around third Max Hartman. It's 5-0 Washington State. And now a ball smashed to right center by Kaysen Taggart. He's got his second home run of the day. A no doubt shot to right center for Kaysen Taggart. Two home run afternoon on the Palouse. He's driven in four and the Cougars lead it seven to nothing on the 428 foot home run to right center. His fifth of the season as he takes the Cougar lead in home runs. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss in the turf. Will Cresswell will pick it out. Carson Judd gets the strikeout. It took a little bit extra for the Cougars as they thought they had a double play. Trying to avoid the Cougars coming to score against him here in the seventh with an out and corner runners. Swartz goes the other way into right field. He'll sit this down for a base hit that scores Will Cresswell. And WSU, another run to their tally. 8-4 the lead in the bottom of the seventh. Dancing off second, Cole Kramer. Runners go other way for Crew Park. This will get down in right field. Cole Kramer with the head start. No trouble around third. Comes to score, make it 9-4 Washington State. Third hit for Crew Park here, all in successive at-bats. WSU in this inning though, two runs already. Four straight have reached. Second and third, the runners. The pitch to Hartman, chopped left side of the infield. It'll be no play, well a throw, but no chance to get Hartman. Drives in Nate Swartz, who is charging home from third. And Kyle Russell up next. First pitch swinging through the left side. He keeps the train chugging down the tracks. Sun setting in Eastern Washington on what was a beautiful day for baseball. Comine is swinging a miss. Carson Judd, he got the final out in the seventh via a strikeout. He starts off with his first out of the eighth here via punch out. Trying to deliver here, already the team leader and runs driven in. Swing and a miss on a challenge fastball. Carson Judd comes back 
above the letters and gets Kane to go to the top rope with him. Ryan Orr expected to be a reliable piece out of this Cougar bullpen. Swing and a miss, a strikeout right away out of the bullpen for Ryan Orr. That's good news for the Cougars. You wouldn't want to see anything happen to Ryan Orr here in this ninth inning. And he gets a ground ball promptly at short. Russell flips it to Cole Kramer at second. And that does it here for game one in the midweek against Seattle U. WSU jumped out to a 3-0 lead in the first inning. And then they expanded it with some big innings late. Two home run game for Kaysen Taggart. And the first decision in the Cougar career for Liam Miller, who emerges as the winning pitcher 